Well, if you get a Skype scam like this, you probably should not respond to it, and I will show you what you should do instead. Now, you may not, your Skype scam may not come from this guy, Roger Winfield, but um, if you get an email from somebody, the head of private banking for HSBC Holdings Bank, a random message in your email or in your Skype or, or anywhere, do you really think that the random head a private HSBC Holdings Bank is going to contact you about a business transaction without having any sort of interaction with you previously? Now, what's interesting is I actually have a relative named Jamie Kraft, but it's a girl, and she spells her name J-A-M-I-E. Um, so I know that she's not an Emirati citizen. Oh, $35,600,000. Oh, that's so nice. Um, the maturity date for this deposit contract was on my birthday, 27th of September. Uh, well, sadly, among the victims of the earthquake. Look, it's a scam, right? But they're going to try and skim you with all of these words and all of this stuff um, to say, you know, we... We, we would like to give you all this money. All we need is your banking details, your social security number, all of that information, and then we'll be happy to you know, make a bank arrangement to put this money in your account. Don't be scammed by this stuff. Please, people, do not be scammed by this stuff. These scams continue to persist. Um, there are a, there's a great website called 409 Eater. 409 is the country code for Nigeria. Um, and they actually, a lot of these scams originate out of Nigeria, unfortunately, but it's just the nature of the thing. Um, and really, there's no reason to ever fall for something like this. So please, 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 if someone offers you money through Skype like this, it's a scam. Please do not get involved in that in any way. It's just not a good idea. And um, that is it. But I'm just posting this to say, Again, we've been dealing with this, making videos on this stuff now for 10 years, and people are still falling for this stuff. So please, please, please do not respond to this. And what you do with these is you actually go to right-click on this. You can unfriend this person, but even more so, you can block this person inside of Skype. And then you can report abuse to Skype, and they will give you an option to say why you should block this person. Now the username for this account is Boris Klochkov underscore 92, but they'll create Boris underscore or Boris Klochkov underscore 93, 94, 95. And so Skype has a constant job of trying to police these people who are trying to scam other people out of their money. But if any of this looks like anything that you have received from anybody on Skype or in Facebook or on Craigslist or any of those other places, please do not respond. Please block them. Please report them. And Please don't fall for this stuff. It's really unhealthy for you in your life and uh, recommended just to cancel and delete these people out of your life.